Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Poor Man Mods. Today, I'm finally going to be installing a short shifter in my Supra. We're going to be putting a cube short shifter in from Cube Speed Equipment. Now, over the years, so many people have asked me why I haven't installed a short shifter. Why do you set the factory shifter? Blah, blah, freaking blah. And my answer has always been, they're too expensive and I can't adjust the price because I didn't know these cube shifters existed. Um, I always thought they were like 250, 300 bucks for a short shifter and I was like, nope, no way, I cannot justify that. I was talking to my friend Ryan over at Pure Function. He's got a pretty badass Mark IV Super with a 2JZ GTE in it. Um, he's got a pretty awesome channel, so check him out. But we were talking and he was like, you're an idiot, you should get the cube shifter. And I didn't even know it existed yet. So I was like, huh, I'll check him out. And I looked up cube, found it, and... They seem to be pretty badass shifters. So I reached out to Cube and asked them for a shifter for this video and they sent me one and here it is. So I'm gonna be doing an install and review of this Cube shifter in my Supra. It's got the R154 transmission. So definitely wanna give a big thanks to Cube for hooking me up with one of these. And I wanna thank Ryan over at Pure Function for enlightening me about Cube. So thank you, thank you both and uh, Let's get that crappy long throw stock shifter out of there and put this cube short shifter in. All right, so the shifter is actually pretty easy to replace. Um, I think you would have to take the center console out, possibly, but um, as you can see, I don't really have it, so I can't take it out. But um, we are going to take out this section here, which is also easy, at least in my car, because half the stuff is missing. Let's, uh, let's remove it, shall we? CD players held in there nice and, nice and, uh, sturdy. Yep. Real, real tight. Disconnect the hazard switch and also the cigarette lighter. Gotta also undo the freaking headlight washers, which don't work. And now you pretty much have access to everything. Which I think I'm missing some hardware here. Now, the first thing you need to remove is this boot. I think typically there would be four bolts in it uh, two up here, one here. But I think I've only got one, which is pretty typical for poor man mods. Only, only having 25% of what you're supposed to have. Sounds about right. This bolt is a 12 millimeter. In typical poor man mod fashion, I'll probably lose this one, so then I'll have zero of four. And you can pull up all the gaskets. Now remember, when you're reinstalling this, the flat section goes on the rear and the curved section goes up front. So this part's curved and this part's flat. And lift up the little skirt on the bottom. Once you have the skirt pulled up, there's four hex bolts holding it in. They're going to be, at least the bolts that I have, they are five millimeter. Remove all four, and the shifter should easily come out. And there you go. Now, not sure if it's gonna be important to remember or not, but when I had this in, you can see that it's kind of tilted back. So the shifter was pointed towards me, not the front. And if you don't have new bushings, like I do, um, Cube does sell new bushings. So if you go ahead and get their shifter, you can get the bushings as well. But I just replaced these like not too long ago at all. So I don't need new bushings. But funny story about my shifter bushings. Um, you know, I was complaining about a lot of slop in my shifter and someone's like, oh, you should just replace your bushings. So I was like, yeah, not a bad idea. 
So I took the shifter out when I got my new bushings and there were zero bushings in there. The one in here was missing, this didn't have one. So uh, that would explain all the slop. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the factory shifter and the cube shifter. Um, as you can see, the cube shifter's pivot point is much higher. So this part of the shifter is much longer. It does look about twice the length. So I guess theoretically that will shorten the shifts about 50%. And the shaft is a little bit longer too. Having a longer shaft is always beneficial. It will definitely be interesting seeing how a longer shaft feels with a shorter throw. Um, but as you can see, there's no rubber on this one. There's no gaskets. So I'm not sure if these will transfer over. I'm going to try to because I don't want a hole in my transmission tunnel. So I'm going to do everything that I can to transfer as much of this over as possible. But the cube shifter looks much nice, much better than this fat, disgusting thing. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty good. It also does come with a new bushing on the bottom. And like I said earlier, if you need the new bushings inside the transmission, you can get them from Cube as well. It definitely looks like it should shorten the throw a lot. So let's get to installing this thing. The shifter comes with four bolts and nuts on it. You don't need the nuts. They're just there to hold the bolts on so you can remove the nuts. So now we can install it into the transmission. There we go. Now you can thread the bolts into your transmission. Now, Cube recommends using Loctite on here. I honestly don't want to do that. Um, you know, you're more than welcome to. They say to do it, but I just, I don't want to put Loctite on here because if they're pretty hard to get out, I don't want these bolts to snap and that scares me. And <laughs> I don't drive the car much as it is, so if they end up coming loose, uh, probably won't happen for a very long time because I hardly drive it. So I'm not going to Loctite these, but you certainly can. What I guess a recommendation, if they really think you should use Loctite, they should just put lock washers on here so they can't back out. But Loctite on here just seems like a bad idea to me. Tighten this plate down evenly so it doesn't go crack or bang or break or anything. Just get it on nice and even. You're definitely going to want a ratcheting tool of some sort, a regular wrench, and you're going to be here all day. Now I can see already this cube doesn't exactly 100% cover the hole in the transmission right here. So hopefully I don't lose any kind of fluids or anything like that. It's not a big hole, but it's still there. All right, now when tightening these, you don't want to make them too tight. They're small bolts in aluminum, and there's the potential to strip something or break them. So just make them snug. No need to crank on them, because if you break it, you're really going to have a bad day. And this is why I think lock washers would be a good idea with this. Or maybe just any kind of washer. But it is now theoretically installed. Holy crap. All right. Now we can tighten up these bolts. These are five millimeter as well. The kit does come with these two nylon nuts as well that you can thread on for double security on these bolts. They also say to use Loctite on this, which again, I'm not going to do. I don't like Loctiting stuff. I don't want to break it. These are nylon nuts, so I really don't think they're gonna come loose. But if you want to use Loctite, you go right ahead. All right, she is nice and tight. Holy crap, that throw is short. But Cube gave me one more thing for this. Cube sent me this very nice shift knob. It's an aluminum shift knob with Cube in red. Looks pretty badass. So we're gonna thread it onto the shifter. Looks about good. Perfect. That is awesome. <laughs> oh. 
let's get an actual measurement and see how much shorter the throw is. So here's a before and after comparison of the throw and feel of the shifter. I do actually have new bushings in this shifter. And as you can see, the throw is quite long. And you know, it's, it's your typical OEM shifter. Feels like a freaking truck. A um, little bit of wobble. I do have new bushings, so it's not too bad. And it is a long shift, but you know they are accurate. I don't miss don't miss shifts that often with this. Um, but I am very excited to see how the cube shifter feels. We're gonna measure the actual throw of the shift to see how much it changes. Five and a half, it looks like. Cube claims it will shorten the throw 50%, so let's see if it holds up to the claim of shortening it 50%. So it definitely feels a lot shorter. It's very tight, but 50% is a big claim. Got my tape measure here. Let's see if it holds up to 50%. It's looking like it's three inches, maybe two and three quarter. So, yeah, I would say that is right at about a 50% reduction in throw, which is freaking awesome. Oh my goodness. Feels so good. That's a side to side. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. First and third almost feel like the same gear. So does second and fourth. Holy crap. That's reverse. <laughs> that is reverse. That is pretty much the same spot that neutral was with the other shifter. Like that is just incredible. Like, oh my God, that's so good. I I absolutely love this. The steering wheel that I got, the shifter, it's, it's like a whole new car. I love it. But there is a tiny little gap right here, which I don't like. I'll see if I can get a close up of this. Not that big of a deal, but I don't like it. So there's the little gap between the shifter and the transmission. Like I said, it's not huge, not that big of a deal, but it is there. Hopefully nothing leaks out. Um, hopefully it's not that big of a problem, but other than that, this shifter seems pretty freaking fantastic. Other than that tiny, tiny little hole. So the installation of the shifter itself is pretty much finished. It's feeling really good. I'm definitely keeping this over the stock one. But I'm going to see if I can get any of the gaskets from the factory shifter to go over here. Now this does look cool, looks awesome, but I want as much protection here as I can get from heat, fumes, and stuff, because this, this car leaks a lot. I am satisfied with this. Three pieces of rubber. Triple wrapping it. Three pieces of rubber, three gaskets, seals, whatever. I think this will be good. I am happy with that. I'm pretty sure it's impossible to install this back in with the shifter installed without breaking something. So I'm gonna remove the two screws holding in this plate for the ashtray. And I'm gonna hope that that fixes our problem. Oh yeah, just like factory. I'm gonna call this installation done. All right, so the shifter's installed, and just in case you wanted some more information on the shifter, the base of it that bolts to the transmission, that is made out of built aluminum. The shaft right here is hardened steel. And this does fit the W55, 57, 58, and the R154 like I have here. So it fits a wide variety of vehicles and transmissions. But the best thing, 
the best thing is Cube Speed Equipment is so awesome that they're giving us a coupon code to give you 10% off your shifter if you're interested in one. It's only going to last two months, so if you want it, get it now. You can get 10% off by using this coupon code right here. Uh, just put it in the checkout when you go to order one. The link to their website will be down below. So yeah, 10% off a short shifter if you go and get one in the next two months, which that is just freaking awesome. It's already very affordable and probably one of the best ones out there, so you can't beat that. And I want to give them a big thanks once again for hooking me up with this. Uh, this video wouldn't be possible without them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope maybe you learned something. Go check out Cute Speed Equipment. Check out their products. They have some awesome stuff. They're based in Australia. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks.